Okay, so the application for us, item seven, is a sign for the Asset Committee. We, we know we've been to a couple of times in the last year. It's the new Porchester little store. Um, the application seeks to vary the terms of a planning condition on the most recent planning condition um, with regards to the trigger for the provision of off-site highway works. The store is due to open, uh, it's been confirmed I think, tomorrow morning. Uh, the report says mid-November, but that's now tomorrow. Um, the condition as drafted, and you'll see from your agenda, required the creation of the new access, closing the old access, improvements to the signal, uh, signal, signalised crossing from the A27 into the trading estate prior to store opening. Um, that is not going to be possible in terms of the off-site high works, so the junction improvements and the footpath widening along the A27. The closing of the old access and the new store entrance are to be ready um, for the opening. Uh, the County Council, as highway authority, have the work programmed in for the off-site highway works, so they are going to, they're due to have them due to start early in the new year. So this is the site plan, uh, A27 running east to west across the top of the screen and coming into Castle Trading Estate. The blue footprint is that of the new store. The new store access is down here towards the southwestern corner of the site. So that's to be provided by opening. The site previously was accessed closer to Castle Trading Estate up here. And then the widening of the footpath cycleway to a three meter shared surface along the A27 here. And the provision of the refuge island enhanced signalised crossings, a slight change to the radii of this side, tactile paving and tactile paving on the other side, it's that signal uh, enhancement is to happen early in the new year along with the footpath cycleway. Just looking at that junction improvements, um, this is the plan we had before us previously, so there's, there's nothing new. The county council as highway authority have confirmed there's nothing new. It's simply the timing and its delivery. You'll see from the report that the, the primary purpose of it was to provide this um, controlled crossing for pedestrians, and part of that was um, public benefit works or betterment works to try and promote linkages from the new store back towards the district centre. Uh, the County Council have confirmed that the signal uh, improvements are nothing to do with capacity or highway safety works and on that basis they're happy for the store to open and the works to be undertaken into the new year. So this is taken with my back to the slightly below, apologies, with my back to the existing signals. So you can see the store appearing on our left hand side looking into Castle Trading Estate <clears throat> and it's almost where the, the delivery lorry is. This is taken a couple of weeks ago. Um, where the livery lorry is, where the new site access is going to be. The other side of the orange fencing here, there's improvements to the footpath as part of the works as well, with uh, improved uh, curb facing and footpath links down into Castle Trading Estate. This is coming back from the previous location, sort of where the, the silver car is there, to the other side of the A27, looking back towards Portsmouth. You see the store in front of us, and it's this particular crossing location onto the right hand side is that for the improvements and then the footpath widening <coughs> excuse me, along the northern edge of the site over to the left hand side. And then this is just coming back from that store access, looking back towards the A27, apologies again for the blurry nature of the photograph, but the crossing coming in um, left to right across the photograph to link into the store and off to the district centre to the left. From my point of view, I think that uh, I would totally agree with it, I think with the opening tomorrow, the public in Portia would be absolutely <laughs> horrified if all the publicity that's been done and given to that opening is that it wasn't opening tomorrow because we didn't agree to this. So I think we're forced into that situation almost. I have to say that I think that somebody somewhere along the line, not within the planning department here, I'm hasten to add, has been a little tardy in making sure that the work was done on time. Now, whether that is Liddles or whether it is the county, I've never been able to get to the bottom of. But I, I do think that it should have happened. Uh, there was plenty of time from when the original planning consent was granted to actually get it all organised. I actually was asked to go to, by Liddles to go to a meeting with the county, Portsmouth City and a number of other people about this work some, I think probably about eight weeks ago now, maybe six weeks ago. 
And it was quite surprising to me is that where it had got to, and it was at that stage, they were still talking about it, all that talk should have been done a lot earlier than that, so as that it had it would be completed in readiness. So it's not just those traffic lights which um, is being said there, it's also linking of the next set and the previous set which happened to be in Portsmouth. So we, we, we have a continuous flow of traffic light uh, organisation. So it's not just those in the pedestrian crossing. Because at the moment, although the county originally said that they, two of those in Hampshire were linked, uh, they're not linked. And the Portsmouth one obviously is not linked. So the whole programme is to link it all together so as you get proper traffic control and management. And, uh, but I do support this and I'm very happy to propose it. Oh, I'd second it. Those in favour, please show it. That's great.